Kieran Culkin has been acting since he was a kid, along with his older brother Macaulay Culkin. While Kieran's career garnered a lot of attention following the hit series Succession, the actor prefers to keep his personal life out of the spotlight. He's been happily married for a decade to Jazz Charton, and the pair live a remarkably low-key life. While they like to keep their lives simple, their love story will have you swooning. It was 2012 when Kieran Culkin first crossed paths with his future wife, Jazz Charton, at a bar in New York City. Jazz was working in the music department of an ad agency at the time, while Kieran was already established as an actor. Since Charton grew up in London, Culkin was immediately drawn in by her accent and decided to introduce himself. He recalled their first conversation. I said, I'm Kieran. You have an English accent. What's your name? She said, Jazz. I said, J-A-Z-Z, -Z, like the music? And she said, yeah. And I said, well, that's fucking stupid. Kieran thought she was the most beautiful girl, but Jazz was, in fact, with another man at the bar that night. The actor knew he had to be smart about his approach and waited for the man to go to the bathroom before he made his big move. As soon as he left, Culkin went to sit by Charton and took his shot. He shared, I asked if he was her boyfriend, and when she said no, I asked if I could be her boyfriend. We've been together ever since. In 2013, the couple decided to go on a road trip that took a very exciting turn. What was supposed to be a six-week road trip ended up taking three and a half months. Spending so much time on the road together made them realize how much they loved each other, and they figured there was no point in waiting to take the next big step. So, while they were driving through a storm in Iowa, Kieran and Jazz decided to pull over on the side of the road in a lope. In a 2018 interview, Culkin shared that kids weren't in the cards for the couple just yet. According to the actor, he and Jazz were a little apprehensive about having children. He explained, It just seems like a lot to take on. I suppose if she gets pregnant, that would be fine, but it's really not on our horizon. But their cat Django was their first baby. My wife loves Django so much. She won't even travel because she doesn't want to leave him. About a year later, Charton announced that she was pregnant with their first child, and she left little to the imagination as to how she was conceived. She doesn't like other kids' babies. That's a problem, yeah. She just doesn't like them. And she's like, I hope I like my kid. I'm like, I'm sure you will, honey. And yeah. In the Instagram post, she captioned, hashtag the Globes were fun, referring to the Golden Globe Awards that year where Culkin had been nominated for Best Supporting Actor for his role as Roman Roy on the hit TV series Succession. While he didn't win the award, just a few months later, he got an even bigger prize when their daughter Kinsey was born. The couple said that they named their daughter after a girl named Kinsey who had helped them get their marriage license during their road trip. Just a few days after she gave birth, Jazz shared some details about the day Kinsey was born in a post on Instagram. She wrote, After 25 hours of laboring at home, we arrived at the hospital too late for any pain meds as I was already dilated and ready to push, and she was out within the hour during a full moon on Friday the 13th. It's all so worth it. I've never been more in love, and we've never felt more complete. For Father's Day, Charton thanked Culkin for accidentally knocking me up, adding that it was the best thing to ever happen to me. I'm not having any of the freakouts or the nervousness that everyone tells me I should be having. Yeah, all I am is excited. When the actor was nominated for a Golden Globe the following year and lost again, Chaz shared a playful post poking fun at her husband. She wrote alongside a photo of her husband holding an imaginary trophy, my three-time Golden Globe loser. I got pregnant the last time he lost, so I'm out of consolation prize ideas. Kieran confessed to feeling dad guilt for managing to sleep while working out of town after Kinsey was born, knowing his wife was at home with their newborn. He shared, When we had a kid the first time, I actually left town to do a talk show and was out of town those first few days, and I was getting a lot of sleep and felt guilty. The actor also prefers to be a hands-on dad, and even said, I actually love the diaper changing, because he sees it as a connected moment and a bonding thing between him and his baby. Kieran and Jazz welcomed their second child in 2021, not long after she had announced her pregnancy. Having two kids is not twice as hard, it's exponentially way harder, but then there's a lot of parents that say, actually, the first go around, it, because it changes your life completely, it took me a whole year to really wrap my head around. This time, the couple struggled to agree on a name for their newborn son and didn't name him until weeks after he was born. Eventually, they agreed on the name Wilder Wolf. During an appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show later that year, the actor explained why it took the pair so long to settle on a name for their son. Initially, it was because they didn't know if they were going to be having a boy or a girl. My, my wife wanted Wolf. She was fighting hard for Yeah, it's, it's a great name. We found it in the hospital the day that he was born, and we thought, that's great, but instead of pulling the trigger on it, let's torture ourselves for about seven weeks. Kieran admitted that they waited until right before Jazz gave birth to brainstorm names. They were able to narrow it down to two girl names that they really liked and agreed it would be one of those names if they had a girl. 
Culkin added, if it's a boy, we're screwed. And we had a boy and spent seven weeks arguing about names. In 2022, Charton turned a drawing by her little lady Kinsey into a tattoo. For their seventh wedding anniversary, Jazz shared a photo from their wedding day on social media and wrote, Seven years ago, we went on what was supposed to be a six-week road trip, but ended up taking three and a half months. Seven years ago, we fell in love with Iowa. Seven years ago, we met a girl named Kinsey who helped us get our marriage license. And seven years ago today, we said I do in the rain with three strangers. The actor isn't on social media himself, so his wife takes it upon herself to shower him with endless words of support online. The day after the actor hosted Saturday Night Live in 2021, Charton dedicated an Instagram post to him, writing, Proud would be an understatement. So lucky to see this impressive man achieve his dreams, even while our kids deprive me of sleep and just general quality of life. Culkin is used to flying under the radar. Even though the actor grew up in a showbiz family of sorts, his career didn't reach the heights of his brother and Home Alone star Macaulay Culkin until he landed on the hit HBO drama Succession. I'm gonna say that Succession has just been a dream. The show instantly launched the careers of its ensemble cast, and Culkin emerged as a total fan favorite. Despite the immense popularity of the series, Kieran isn't terribly comfortable with the whole idea of fame. During an interview with Vanity Fair, he described being a celebrity as not a nice thing. He explained, I think well-adjusted, smart people that experience it first or secondhand would not pursue it. I'll totally take personal happiness over success, absolutely. If I'm miserable, then what's the f***ing point? As a result, the actor keeps his personal life under wraps, too. While Jazz shares little snippets of their private life at home, they like to keep the more intimate details to themselves. But from what we can tell, there is no denying that they have an adorable marriage. Culkin shared that he and Charton want to have more kids, especially now that they're moving into a bigger apartment. Up until their son was born, the couple had been living in the same New York apartment that Kieran had moved into when he was 19. The actor joked, We're on our way up. The last place was a rental, so that money's all gone. I know, I'm not smart. Kieran even admitted that he and Jazz had been sleeping on a floor mattress while their toddler would sleep in their bed. Eventually, it came to a point when the couple knew they couldn't live like that anymore. He recalled, There was a day in particular when I came home, and the place was a mess because I left it a mess, and I said, Honey, I'm so sorry for how we live. And she goes, You know you're on a hit TV show, right? We don't have to live like this. I'm like, yeah, all right, we'll move, we'll move. Since then, the couple has bought a beautiful three-bedroom home and had it renovated. Now that they have more space, they're looking forward to expanding their family and making more happy memories together. We're so happy for Kieran and Chaz, and we wish them only the best for their future together. Be well and be kind.